Mike Ian was born in South Vietnam, and while she only started as a professional, she received a gold medal in solo singing from the Radio France Asia in 1953. Due to this, she became a popular singer in Saigon, Vietnam around 1956. She left for Paris in 1961 to pursue further education in music. During her overseas studies, the Polydor, one of the largest record companies in Europe, approached her with a contract for three single albums under her name. While she was still studying, she also toured to Belgium, Germany, and Austria, where several TV clips introduced her to the public. In 1965, Bike Ian's popularity crossed from the Atlantic to America. Ed Sullivan and CBS from New York City sent their special invitation to her to appear on the Ed Sullivan Show. The song Dam Dong, Winter Night, was performed and broadcasted to more than 20 million American viewers from their home. Her growing popularity led to more and more American TV shows, such as The Joey Bishop Show, Bob Hope Presents the Chrysler Theater, The Bob Hope Show, and The Shindig Show. In America, one never knows. You may be a governor tomorrow. <laughs> she became quite a familiar face on a variety of top theatrical shows. These were not limited to just Hollywood, but in New York City, Las Vegas, and over 46 U.S. states. She was also quite popular in Canada. Mexico, Colombia, Panama, and Venezuela. In 1965, she visited Toronto while touring with the Rolling Stones while they performed at O'Keeffe Center. With her American residency having expanded to 12 years during this time, she shared the big screen and popular stages with Bob Hope, Bing Crosby, Joy Bishop, Mike Douglas, Pat Boone, Jimmy Durant, Liberace, and others. John Wayne asked her to appear and to sing La Seine in English and French for the feature film The Green Berets in 1968. The movie is now available in Blu-ray format. Several single records under her name were introduced during this period by different music productions such as Poupe, Accents, and Sono Beats. She met and married a multi-instrument musician and ethnomusicologist Dr. Zhang Guanhai in Paris in 1978. With his persuasion, Bakian incorporated traditional music to her repertoire. In company with her husband, Bakian has given more than 3,000 recitals and concerts in all five continents. Six albums have been published under their names into mainstream culture all over the world. In 1983, one of those albums gained the most honorable award, the Grand Prix de Dix de l'Académie Charles Croix. In 1994, the Collection Souvenir CD was released by William Arthur in the United States and Canada. And in 2002, her name was then added to the international who's who in popular music book. This year, in 2016, Bakin is celebrating her 60 years of show business in Paris and in Toronto.